hi guys and welcome to my channel if you are playing any game on the game pass and the game is not launching or starting then these are the fixes you need to try we have listed the fixes on our website so i'll drop a link to the website as well for you to go through all the fixes and the commands you need to enter so let's start with the fixes the first fix is to update the os so for this press windows key plus i to go into settings then go into windows update and over here click and check for updates if any update shows up then download and install the update next you need to go into the advanced options and check if ch click over here to check for optional updates if there are any available optional updates install them as well and reboot the pc once the pc has rebooted try and play your game and see if it works if it doesn't work then the next fix is to verify and repair games file game files for this open your xbox app then go into library click on the game that's giving you issues then click on this three dots over here go into manage then files over here you have the option to verify and repair click on verify and repair and wait for the process to complete once the process completes again reboot your pc and try to play the game so the next fix is to create a desktop shortcut and run as admin for this again open up the xbox app then click on the game you want to <coughs> play click on the three dots manage over here you have the option to create a desktop shortcut click over here to create a desktop shortcut then go to your desktop then you'll find the desktop shortcut has been created right click on the game then choose run as administrator click yes and allow for the game to run as an administrator and see if the game works if the game is still failing to launch then the next fix is to install your gp drivers while installing the gp drivers i suggest that you perform a clean install i'll drop both the links for amd and nvidia so depending on your respective gpus you can download the latest drivers for amd the options are quite clear you just simply need to visit the link and download click download windows drivers and it will download the latest driver for you for nvidia you have the option to choose your gpu so i am using a 30 series rtx 3670 ti windows 11 game ready drivers and let's search it will give the latest driver that was released on 95 2024 so let's download the driver Once the download is complete, then double click on the downloaded file to install it, click yes, okay, Once the driver installation starts, click on NVIDIA Graphics Driver and GeForce Experience. Click on Agree and Continue. And instead of Express Installation, choose Custom Installation. Then click Next. Then over here you have the option Perform a Clean Installation. Check over here Perform a Clean Installation and click Next. Now the installer will uninstall the existing GPU driver and install the new one. Wait for the process to complete.
Once the old drivers have been removed, the PC will reboot and once it reboots, it will reinstall the new drivers. Once the drivers are reinstalled, then try playing the game. If the game still doesn't work, then the next fix you need to try is to repair the gaming services, Xbox app and the game you want to play. For this, press Windows key plus I and locate apps, then go to installed apps. Over here, search for gaming services. Click on the three dot over here. Go to advanced options. Then click on repair. Once the gaming services are repaired, go back. Then search for Xbox app. Again, go to advanced options and choose repair. Once repaired, go back and search for the game you are playing and repair that game as well. If the game is still not working, then you need to reset the game. Then the next fix is to reset all the three services again. I mean the three applications, gaming services, Xbox app and the game. For this, go to the same place settings apps installed apps and then search for gaming services then go to advanced options then click reset once the once the reset is complete for the gaming services reboot your pc and open the xbox app once you open the xbox app it will ask for an update and it will update and you will be able to play the game if you are still failing to play the game then go back again into installed apps and search for xbox click on the three dots next to the xbox app go into advanced options then scroll down and click on reset After resetting, again open the Xbox app. It will ask you to log in. Log in and try playing your game. If the game still doesn't work, then again go into installed apps and search for the game and reset the game as well. Hopefully these fixes have resolved your issue. If not, then we have a list of other fixes you can try. So the next fix is to make sure that you are logging in with the same account for MS Store as well as the Xbox application. And the account you are using has an active Game Pass subscription. So first make sure that the account you are logging in with has active Game Pass subscription and open both, open both the Microsoft Store and the Game Pass app log out sign out of both and make sure that you are logging in with the same account like for me is this one make sure that you are logged in into MS Store and the Xbox app using the same same email account and that email account has active Game Pass subscription. Once that's taken care of, then the next solution is to ensure that the date, time and reason are the same. So for this, again press Windows key plus I to open settings, then go into time and language date and time over here make sure that set time zone automatically is checked is toggled on and set time automatically is toggled on once you toggle both of these on toggle both of these on and press sync now 
oh, then scroll down below over here you have language and region click over here and make sure that the correct region is selected once you have done this reboot the pc and try to play the game sometimes changing the language also helps so try changing the language to something other than what you have already set and see if that does the trick if not then reboot the system and try the next fix so the next for the next fix you need to open powershell in the windows search open powershell as as an as an admin and run this command I'll paste this command in the video description so you can copy it. So open PowerShell in the Windows search type PowerShell and then choose to run as an as an administrator. Paste the command and hit enter. Once another line appears, then you can close the window and reboot your PC and check if the game works. When you reboot your PC and launch the Xbox app, it will automatically update and after that you can try launching your game and see if it works. If the game still doesn't work, then run another PowerShell command, copy this command open PowerShell open PowerShell as an admin then run this command if you get some errors don't worry about it just allow for the process to complete the process can take some time once the process completes again reboot your PC and try playing the game Once a new line appears, your command has run its course and you can close the power cell and reboot your PC and check if the game works. If the game doesn't work, then you need to download the Xbox Identity Provider. I'll drop a link for this in the video description so you can download, download the Xbox Identity Provider and install it. After installation, again try to launch the game and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then the next solution is to enable offline permission in MS Store. For this, open MS Store. Then oh, click on your profile over here. Go to settings. Then over here you have the offline permission. Ensure that it's toggled on. The next fix is to disable all external devices. Make sure that pedals, wheels, VJOY, uh, controllers, external Bluetooth devices, everything that's external input device, remove them, then reboot your PC and try to play the game. Uh, if the game is still not working, then try to launch the game in a clean boot environment. A clean boot environment ensures that only the essential Windows applications are running and no other program is running in the background that could interfere with the game's process. So, launch the game in a clean boot environment. For this, press Windows key plus R. This will open the run dialog box. Type in msconfig and click on OK. Once the msconfig comes up, go into the services tab and then check all Microsoft serv services. This is a very important fix, uh, important step. Don't forget to check all Microsoft services so that you do not disable micro essential Microsoft serv services. So check hide all Microsoft services and click on disable all. Then click on apply, OK. Then go to the startup tab and click on open device manager. Now once you open device manager in the startup apps, make sure everything is disabled. If, if something is enabled, right click on it and click disable. This is, this is so all of these programs don't boot uh, when you reboot your system. So you need to perform, you need to make sure that all of the startup apps are disabled. Then close everything and reboot your PC. Once the PC reboots, 
then launch the Xbox app and try to play the games. Now the next fix is to delete the MS Store cache. You can find the MS Store cache at copy this line. I will drop this line in the video description so you can copy it. Go to go to your C drive, open your C drive, then go into users, then your username, then over here look for app data folder. If the app data folder is not visible, then click on view, show and then check hidden items. Then the app data folder will appear for you. Open the app data folder, go into local, then look for packages. Over here, packages. Open the packages folder, then over here, type the folder name so that you don't have to search individually, which, which, which can be quite a task. So, type the folder name and hit enter. So, the folder opens. Once this folder opens, look for local cache and delete this folder. Delete this folder, close it, reboot your PC and try to play the game. If the game is still not working, then you need to ensure that all of these services, Xbox Helper, Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Live Game Save, Xbox Live Networking Service and Gaming Services, all of these services are set to automatic startup. For this, in the Windows search, look for so, uh, type services, then click on run as administrator. Once the services starts, then one by one find each of these services. Let us start with IP helper. So, over here I have IP helper and it is currently running, currently uh, the startup type is currently set to automatic. If it is set to manual or it is stopped, then right click on it, go to properties and over here you can set the startup type. Make sure that it is set to automatic, then apply and ok. Do this for all of these 5 services and then uh, reboot your PC and try to play the game. The next fix is to run this command in command prompt. So, copy this command from the video description, then in the Windows search type cmd. The command prompt will pop up, click on run as administrator, yes, then over here paste the command and hit enter. Now, reboot your PC and check if the game works. If the game still does not work, then you need to uninstall the game completely and re-download it. Try that and if that fails, then finally reset the PC. To reset the PC, press Windows key plus I, then go into system, go into recovery, then over here you have the option to reset the PC. Click on reset PC and wait for the process to complete. Once the process completes, reboot your PC and try playing the game. That is all we have with in this guide. Hope it helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe. Thank you.